For problem 3, 1, uh, classify each of the following trusses as statically determined, statically indeterminate, or unstable. Uh, for the first one, we are looking for number of member B, number of reaction R, and number of joint G. Number of member, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Number of reaction, we have two here, it's hinge or pin. We have one here, it's roller, so three. Number of joint, actually we have one, two, three, four, five, six. So the relation between uh, P plus R and two J. P plus R is uh, 11, two J it's 12. That means number of equation greater than number of unknowns. That structure is unstable. That's it. If your structure is unstable, that's it. The second one, uh, B, R, and G. Number of member here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Number of reaction, we have two hinge, so we have two reaction at each so r is four number of joint we have one two three four five so the relation between p plus r and 2j p plus r is 11 2j is 10 that means number of unknowns greater than number of equation your structure is stable but indeterminate how many times it's statically indeterminate? One time. Once. Time statically indeterminate because number of unknowns greater than number of equation by one. The third one for this trust, we are looking for P, R, and G. Number of members, actually we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Number of reaction, we have 3 reaction. Number of joint, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Relation between P plus R and 2J, P plus R is 16, 2J is 16 also. So number of unknowns equal number of equation. Your structure is stable and determined. The last one, B, R, and J. Number of members, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. Number of reaction, actually three reaction, one roller and one hinge. Number of joint, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12. So P plus R and 2J. P plus R is 24. 2J is 24. That means number of equation equal number of unknowns. Your structure is stable and determined. For problem uh, 3, 4, we need to classify each of the following trusses as statically determined, statically indeterminate, or unstable. Actually, for the first one, this uh, truss is unstable. Disregarding of uh, how many equations do you have, how many unknowns do you have, because we have panel here without diagonal. Each part in your truss should be triangle not square or rectangle so this structure is unstable the second one we are going to calculate how many member how many reaction and how many joint actually we have here members one two three four five six seven eight nine number of reaction it's roller 
it's hinge so we have three action number of joint one two three four five six relation between b plus r and 2j b plus r is 12 2j is 12 so number of unknowns equal number of equation your structure is stable and determined for this one actually um, number of member number of reaction and number of joint how many members do you have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen how many reaction one two three number of joint one two three four five six seven eight nine ten b plus r and 2j what is the relation b plus r 18 2j 20 that means number of equations greater than number of unknown your structure is unstable For problem 312, for the shown truss, we are going to calculate force in each member of the truss. To do this, we need first to, de to, uh, to determine the reaction. We have been at A, so we have two reaction, YA and XA. At C, it's roller, so we have only one reaction, YC. Submission f of x equals 0, xa will be 0. Submission moment at a equals 0, assume clockwise direction is positive. We can calculate yc equal 6 kN. So your action here is 6. Submission f of y equals 0, actually ya will be 6 kN. Please note this truss is symmetric so reaction ya same value like yc and each member will has a value of force looks like the similar one on the other side anyway uh, first joint i'm going to do joint equilibrium for joint a for joint a what do you have at joint a actually we have Reaction 6, 0, vertical force 1.5. What else? We have horizontal member FAB. We have inclined member FAF. You can assume any direction as you like. So I'm going to assume um, FAF as a compression and this one as tension that angle theta looks like this one angle theta can be in triangle theta with horizontal distance 3 vertical distance this one which is 2 so the hypotenuse will be square root of 13 sine theta equal to divide square root of 13 cosine theta equal 3 divide square root of 13 for this joint we can apply summation f of x equals 0 and f of phi so i'm going to start with summation f of phi equals 0 we have 6 positive minus 1.5 minus f a f sine theta equal 0 remember sine theta equal 2 square root of 13 the only unknown here is f a f equal 8.11 kilonewton positive that means your assumption is correct which is compression second equilibrium equation summation f of x equal 0 we have an x direction 
FAB negative FAF cosine theta, the horizontal component of the inclined force, equals zero. Cosine theta was three squ divided square root of 13, and FAF was 8.11. Only unknown here is FAB will be positive 6.75 kilonewton. Positive means your assumption is correct, which is tension. So, your force in member AB is tension force. So, it will be same value, but in opposite direction on the second joint. Force on member AF, it's compression. So, we have compression here. Same value, but in opposite direction at the second joint. The second step, we are going to do equilibrium for joint F. For joint F. Joint F right now has two unknowns only. FE and FB because AF is known. What do you have at joint F? Joint F. We have force here, FAF, which was 8.11. We have also a vertical force, which is 3 kip, and we have inclined force here called FEF. And inclined force here, F, B, F. I'm going to assume this one as tension force and this one as a compression force, as you like. Your angles, this angle was theta, this one theta, and that one theta. All of them are equal. So, actually, summation F of X equals zero. We have an x direction, 8.11 cosine theta. We have also a positive FEF cosine theta. We have negative FBF cosine theta equal zero. Actually, it's equation with two unknowns. Remember, cosine theta is known. The second equilibrium is equation summation f of y equals zero we have in y direction 8.11 sine theta we have also f b f sine theta and we have positive f e f sine theta and negative three equal zero actually another equation with the same two unknowns, we can solve these two equations together to get your unknowns. Finally, your F, B, F equal and F, E, F equal. F, B, F uh, will be positive, 2.7. Positive means my assumption is correct. I assumed F, B, F as a compression, so it's correct, compression force. F, E, F equal negative 5.41 kilonewton. Negative means your assumption isn't correct. I assumed it as um, tension, so no, it's compression. So, your value here, this one will be compression, and this one will be compression. Same value, but on the opposite direction. And that one also compression and compression. The second or the third step, we are going to make equilibrium at joint E. What do you have at joint E? For joint E, actually, we have inclined force here, which is uh, FEF compression. 5.4 we have another force here 
and we have vertical force which was three remember i said before that your truss is symmetric that means your forces in this member will be identical to that member same value same direction everything the same so my force here will be same value 5.4 and this angle theta and that angle theta so if we apply summation f of y equals zero we have oh i forgot vertical member here which is f e b i will assume it as tension force you can assume what you want so summation f of y equals zero we have 5.4 sine theta we can multiply it by two we have negative three we have negative f e b equal zero only unknown here is f e b because sine theta theta is known so f e b will be positive three kilonewton positive means your assumption is correct that means it's tension so your value here will be tension the rest of your truss is identical uh, to the left side so forces in this member will be the same in that member forces in this member will be the same like this member and here also same value because your truss is symmetric so symmetric in reaction symmetric in internal forces symmetric in external forces